Hey, what's up guys, back with another video. Uh, using my phone right now in the car, but I uh, just wanted to do a little vlog, um, kind of give a content update on what's going on with the car and uh, videos that are coming out. And um, this video is just gonna basically be covering that and going up, going up to uh, Bryan, Ohio to pick up a set of wheels that my friend sent me that he was like, oh, I can't use these wheels because they're five by 120, but come to find out they are um, actual three-piece wheels. Uh, they're BBS RS's, uh, BBS RS 211. So they are 16 by eight. Um, what is it, ET 11. And uh, obviously they're BMW Fitment, so five by 120. Um, so we're going to go pick these up and probably just going to be um, refurbishing these. They've already had fresh powder coat on the faces, which I don't really like the color, honestly, but um, we're just gonna go ahead and get the, the wheels and do a little process of rebuilding them probably within like the next few months and then uh, we'll be able to flip them um, for a decent amount of uh, profit because I'm not paying too much for them uh, for being the condition they are and obviously being BBS RS wheels. They are missing the waffles but we're just going to go ahead and uh, check them out so I got to go there in about 40 minutes so I'm heading there now so hopefully the quality is not too bad like I said we're on my phone I was going to bring my camera but uh, completely forgot about it this morning when I decided to leave for work so but yeah let's go get these and hopefully they're in decent enough condition where I'm not wasting 45 minutes uh, driving out here and then an hour all the way home but uh yeah I guess uh, we'll see what they come out like boys all right we gotta get some gas real quick um, but the wheels are back here we picked them up sorry like I said I'm using my phone not the best quality but whatever and here they are like I said the centers have already been powder coated for whatever color that he wanted that he's doing on his build uh, he has an FC RX-7 but we got some uh, we ain't got no center caps that's a big thing which I don't you know I'm not really too crazy about but honestly I couldn't pass up the deal like I couldn't pass up the deal whatsoever um, but these are like I said BBS RS um, let's see over here RS 211s, um, 16 by 8 ET 11. Uh, these came off of like a BMW, so like a, maybe like an M5 from back in the day. But uh, obviously got all four faces. He had them redone, and then didn't want to use them. So um, we got these uh, lips. I think they're called slant lips, I believe. We'll take them uh, a better look later. But got that, and then we got the barrels. Um, so once I get home, I'll give a little close up with the actual camera and uh, yeah, I'm fucking stoked. Um, like I said, these are just going to be flip wheels, but because um, I don't really like RS's on my E30s because you just see them constantly everywhere. So I guess we will uh, rebuild them and see what's up. I do got to get a waffle sometime um, eventually, but uh, I just couldn't pass up the deal like I said. So let me get some gas and get out of here. All right, guys. So back with the wheels. Uh, it's raining out right now, so we're just gonna take a look at them inside. But got all of them sitting here. Um, just gonna bring it up for a close up. Actually, I do like the color, but obviously it's not something I want to go with. I'm pretty sure I decided the color I want to go with. Um, I'm undecided if I want to keep them for a build because I don't really like RSs on E30s. I'm kind of. But anyways, like I said, I'm pretty over um, RSs on E30. I still gotta get the waffles and everything, and then the hex center caps. But um, like I said, if I do keep them. I'm most likely going to do a cream color, so a cream face, um, cream hex, uh, the actual hex cap itself is going to be chrome, and then the bolts which I got down here, I have all the original hardware right here, um, so all of those are obviously for this, so they got to get cleaned up, so I'll probably um, take time out and degrease these or whatever and try to make them look as good as they can, and if I do decide to keep it, I'm probably going to do, I'm probably going to copper plate those or whatever so we have copper bolts um, cream face chrome hex posh lips and uh, maybe like the gold and uh, copper for the uh, the logo or whatever but the lips are in pretty decent condition so if you were to run these on an e30 and you had adapters it's gonna poke because I think the smallest adapter you can get is um, I think 15 from like a company so if you do run these on an e30 without filling and drilling them it will be poking but uh, just depends on like what you want like for fitment wise and everything like that because that'd be what that'd be 16 by 8 with 4 offset which isn't too bad but 
Uh, and I guess it just depends what you're going on. But like I said, these were definitely a steal for a deal because like I said, they were only um, $500 for them. So it's a really good price for obviously BBS RSs. Most people thought I'd pay like a thousand or more, but um, there is a couple lips that will need to be uh, like some curb rash done, but not a big deal. Uh, they are clear coated lips. So when I do strip them, I'm gonna have to strip the clear coat and then I'll probably just sand them down like I did on the Epsilons, which are right here. Um, and then go ahead and fucking get them polished. But like I said, I'm undecided if I want to keep them or not, or if I just want to flip them because that's why originally I bought them. But I also bought them because they were $500 for RSs and you don't really come across that anymore. So I might end up keeping them and put them on the BBS coupe build. But tomorrow uh, we'll go over and check out the E30. It's kind of shitty out today, but uh, got plenty of content coming out. Uh, these trailing arms, uh, doing a rebuilt trailing arm series. So two episodes of that uploading one of those um, probably around the same time as this video comes out then I gotta get the rest of the stuff for it and we can get those done uh, epsilons are going on the car finally um, after this rear end is uh, completed because I have messed up toe and camber in the rear because one of the arms is bent got the tires for the epsilons right here so um, I already got everything I just gotta get them dropped off and uh, mounted up uh, from a friend Derek so that's gonna be another thing we're doing for the car but like I said really good price for these and i wouldn't plan on doing a video i wasn't planning on ever owning a set of rs's because like i said i'm pretty honestly i'm tired of them on the e30 even though they're classic wheels or whatever but i have all this bbs stuff now and i might just end up throwing them on the bbs coupe build because um it's gonna be an early model and uh, if i do decide to do that i'll probably get uh, one inch wider lips for the rear so it'll make it an eight in the front and a nine in the rear and I think that's a decent setup for you know like a late model or early model car with a BBS uh, BBS kit and shit like that so I just thought it's pretty cool but yeah they're all pretty decent condition like I said when I do rebuild these I'll do a little series like I did for the Epsilons and uh, we can get these looking really nice but for now they're just gonna go over in storage so Tomorrow, I'm gonna go take them to storage, give you a lowdown on the car, and uh, yeah, we're gonna put these bad boys up and uh, decide what I'm gonna do with them because I'm not gonna put any money to them in them right now. I already just went out of my way just to buy them, so. But yeah, let's go over to the car and uh, I'll give you a few more things of what we're gonna be doing here in the future for content uh, for this year. Um, and uh, yeah, dope ass deal for some RS's, boys. Just gotta get some waffle caps and hex caps and I'll do that over the next couple months or whatever. And like I said, if I do end up keeping them, I will be doing them cream. If not, I'll probably do like a silver color because it's easier to flip for that. And uh, yeah, but uh, let's get it. All right, so I got everything in the car. Just a little update randomly. Uh, working on the daily right now. Just had to drop the wheel bearings off to get spindles, but we got a whole new front suspension, new shocks, tie rod ends, ball joints. Pretty much the whole nine except our brakes also. But that's just... Uh, another thing that we're doing but <clears throat> got everything back here got the lips got the faces down there and down there and the barrels um, I did measure I did measure these lips um, and they are a two inch lip so um, when it comes to what I want to use them for on the uh, well, we ain't got no autofocus Anyways, what I want to use these for on the car, um, on the is a different build, obviously, but being these are 16 by 8 with a 2 inch lip, I'm undecided if I want to do a 2.5 inch lip uh, because these are the slant lips, as you can see, like the factory ones are the slant lips. And I believe they only came with the inch and a half and the 2 inch variants. And I want the back wheels to be a 16 by 9, so I have a 3 inch lip. Um, so. It's either going to be ran as I'm going to get all four new lips for the rebuild. Uh, this is sometime down the line. Um, we can either do new lips on all four or just run these twos and then do new ones on the rear. But I think I might just end up getting all four new lips and do a two and a half in the front and a three and a half in the rear. So we're running eight and a half and then nine and a half on an early model. That's good specs. Uh, I'd have to figure out like, um, what it's gonna be for like the offset and stuff, but my friend has a car that I can uh, put these on and test them out. So if that's the case, I'm probably just gonna 
get these lips all completely cleaned and polished and when we so I don't have autofocus on on video right now but when we do this rebuild series I'm probably just going to get these wheels or get these lips cleaned up polished and then probably just sell them to somebody who needs some straight lips that are going to be uh, clean obviously so uh, that pretty much should be this I'm just going to take them to storage and I'll give you a lowdown on the car and uh, then we're going to put these wheels away until we get ready to rebuild them so all right so uh here's the car i'm gonna get her start up here in a second but got all the wheel stuff put over here um through the process of this video i decided i'm gonna keep the wheels just gonna redo them I'm gonna get all new lips like i said um <clears throat> here are the well this one's kind of bent up but this is the bbs side skirts uh for the other build um, i also got my bbs door pots for this build um but yeah, once I get the car, it's gonna have the BBS kit on it. I still gotta get the front and rear balance. It's gonna have the BBS RSs on it. Um, probably gonna go with the two and a half and the three and a half. So 16 by eight and then 16 by nine. This is all my parts over here, like square parts. Um, and then it's gonna go, and I'm gonna run the Cam A spoiler because uh, the three piece spoiler, because I already have um, a BBS. I'm gonna have this BBS spoiler on this car. So. I might as well throw the KMA uh, rear spoiler and the wind splitters on that build. But uh, that's pretty much the plan for those. But like I said, just gonna put these away. Just kind of got my drum set in the way of everything. So I'm gonna put these together and put them somewhere else over there. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm just gonna keep them and go ahead and use them on the build because they're cheap and I'm gonna pretty much have a brand new set of wheels for the car, so might as well do that. But let's start up the car, it hasn't been started in probably a couple weeks. Um, if you guys don't actually follow the build, it's a 89 sedan, late model. But uh, let's get this started up. It's probably gonna run like shit because like I said, it hasn't been started in probably two weeks, if not more. And uh, yeah, let's just get her started up. She's got a fresh new exhaust on it. So like I said, um, I just wanted to start the car up. Um, while I was over here, I was already touching up stuff. I touched up the shadow line trim again uh, with some trim paint and the trim, but a few things I gotta do, might do an episode on, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna go around the other side. If you guys did see the video, I did get these stainless steel headers that are turning all different colors, which was fucking beautiful, um, but for some reason these new gaskets did not seal on this side so i gotta take off the exhaust which is a bitch to get the headers off but i gotta take that off and um it's gonna get just the individual uh the individual gaskets for each cylinder and then i'm just gonna put those little things on the uh the spark plug wire so they don't get any heat on them um and it's gonna look a lot cleaner plus i'm getting rid of the oil cooler because i don't really need that for um for right now it's pretty much overkill for what i was told from my friend so and it leaks, I've already put new seals on that stupid thing and it's still leaking. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that off and just use the old style uh, M20 B27 or whatever. Basically just an adapter that goes straight into the block and then the oil filter comes out because if you can see the oil filter is in a bad place right down there by the headers. Um, so yeah, uh, it's definitely a bitch to change. You have to do it from underneath. But when I do the uh, LSD and all that shit, that I just uploaded the episode for the, uh, the, um, the trailing arm build. It's getting a whole new rear end. So if that's the case, I'm just gonna go ahead and drop the entire exhaust because I'm gonna have to do it 
anyways. And uh, yeah, just gonna have to take that shit off and uh, fix it and we should be good after that. All right guys, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the videos I did before this. But yeah, um, got plenty of videos coming out this year. And uh, like I said, the two projects with the trailing arm and the LSD. So that's coming up um, pretty soon from when I'm posting this video. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching the video guys. Cheap set of RSs for the next E30 build is gonna be on the channel as well. Um, which is going to be an early coupe, like I said. So we're going to have two channel, or we're going to have two cars on the channel uh, come next year sometime. So be on the lookout for that, and uh, peace. <laughs>